so hi guys so today we would be talking about some bad algorithms in the previous two videos we have already covered and talked about the main challenges of machine learning part 1 in which we talked about bad data so now we would be covering some bad algorithm in bad data we talked about how data is uh, uh, in some cases is is always a problem and uh, the main requirement of uh, the machine learning model now we would be talking about the bad algorithm so the first thing we are going to talk in bad al algorithm is overfitting the training data so uh, in the previous uh, research paper videos uh, we have already talked about overfitting the training data but i would just give you a brief introduction once again so over generalizing is something that we all humans do all often and unfortunately machine can fall into the same trap if not careful so if uh, if a typical human example i would like to give you is something like that suppose you visit a country this is a country and at this point uh, at, at this point uh, you were traveling and you uh, and the taxi driver uh, here rips you off then you went back to your country and there you told everyone that uh, you might be tempted to say that all the taxi drivers in this whole country are thieves but do you think just because of this taxi was single taxi driver all the taxi drivers are actually thieves no definitely it's not possible but this is the a very typical uh, example in real world uh, human life example that i could have given given you so in ml this is called overfitting it means the model perform well on the training data but it does not generalize well so uh, you can see here uh, the line which is uh, uh, going through this uh, this is the general line you can see the this blue line is a general line which is a curve in which other uh, data is being uh, pro processed on the basis of the model but in this overfitting line one you can see it's taking every bit of uh, it and going through because it is only looking at the training data and performing well on that only not only testing data uh, here the graph would go something like this this is the graph and the yellow line would depict the tra training data the training accuracy uh, the uh, this is the accuracy this line is the accuracy and uh, this is the tra training data it is going something like this and through red line i would repeat the test data and it is going something like this so yeah th you can see this is a very uh, huge difference between both the lines this this is the difference between both of them so this is the major cause of many models that is overfittings usually overfittings happens when the model is too complex or uh, too complex relative to the amount and noises of the training data now suppose the training data that you provided was only 1000 images uh, you gave it 1000 images but uh, the model consisted of many layers means you can imagine like this this these are the layers and everything but uh, th there were a lot of layers in the model and you provided only a significant amount of data to it so what is the solution for overfitting so the number one solution is simplifying the models by reducing the parameters and features you know a single feature can lead and parameter can lead to different uh, uh, objections in the model and the second is to gather more training data and the third is removing noise in the data you know i have already told you the data should be clean there should be no unnecessary noises in the data and we need to definitely gather more data so this was it for the overfitting of the data now coming to the second part that is uh, that is uh, underfitting of data but before going to underfitting let's talk about one more case that is regularization regularization so what is regularization i would just show you a graph suppose this is the graph and uh, the yellow line is going to depict the linear model a linear model goes something like this and uh, uh, through red line i would depict the uh, re regular regularized linear model and it is going something like this and this is uh, obviously the accuracy this is the accuracy and this is basis of data so yeah uh, now how, how you must be wondering why is there such a huge difference between the both so the linear model is going through overfitting just imagine then hence regularization reduces the risk of overfitting following two methods the method the amount of regularization applied to during the learning can be controlled uh, can be controlled by hyper hyperparameter if you don't know about hyperparameter i would suggest you to uh, go to my uh, research paper video i have detail, explained in detail about it and tuning the hyperparameters is an important part of building a machine learning system you need to tune the hyperparameter how all the things are working 
what features and parameters you are actually using which are unnecessary ones and all and on what basis they are going to affect your whole model so that is the main part of uh, overfitting and regularization now coming to the part that is underfitting the training data so underfitting is totally opposite of overfitting i hope you must have got it this is overfitting and this is underfitting so under uh, it occurs when your model is too simple to learn the under uh, underlying structure of the data the main uh, problems uh, the main options to fix the problem it's because it's a really uh, rare problem as compared to overfitting too simple to explain the variance and it's too uh, force fitting too good to be true so yeah the uh, the uh, solution through which which you can fix this is uh, the main options are uh, you can select more powerful model with more power uh, with more parameters second thing you can do is feeding the better features to the learning algorithm third thing you can you do is simply reducing the constraints on the model so yeah this is how uh, overfitting and underfitting are working now uh, before uh, ending today's video i would just like to uh, talk about some uh, basic things that is testing and validating uh, because these are th some this is the topic uh, which is not related to this one but yeah it it should be talked about so suppose you have a, a set of data like this this is your total data now after you are done with your model and trained it well the best way to put your model in production and monitor how will it performs the best way is to split your data into two sets that is training set and test set i know many of you must be knowing about it but yeah let's talk about it because it's really important so what we are going to do we are going to split our data into something like this now this is going to be our training data that is tr uh, yeah and this is uh, then the below one is going to be our testing data that is ts oh okay yeah testing data so so as the name implies you can train a model using this training data and you can test it the model using testing data the error rate on new cases is called generalization error whenever you are in the model and you see the errors in the model on the new cases is called the generalization error and this value tells you how the model performs you know, will perform on instances it it has never seen before if the uh, training error is low that is the error in this training is low but the generalization uh, is high it means your model is overfitting the data uh, we told we talked about uh, overfitting a few minutes back you must have got an idea so usually it goes something like this 70% into training and 30% into testing uh, it depends on the amount of data you are also having suppose you have five uh, you have got 1 million examples here hence you can give something like this 70000 data examples for training and 30000 examples for testing but make sure there is no bias between them uh, we talked uh, because if there is some bias between the data uh, because if there are some duplicates and all then it is it can cause some problem we would talk about how you should split the data in the next video means in detail what things you, you need to keep in mind while splitting the data but for now we need to make sure that our data is split in two parts that is testing uh, training data and testing data so this was it for the video i hope you have got an idea uh, thank you for watching the video thank you and have a nice day